In this video, we'll see how do we copy paste a file using file system object. Now, what I've done is I've created a file at one location. I want the file to be copied from that location and I want to paste into some other location. So that is possible using file system object. For FSO, file system object is an interface between UFT and local system. So let us see that. Now I'll show you the file which I've already created. Yeah. That's a file in this place. If you see that's this PC local disk that is E drive and there's a file named as demo. Demo is a notepad file. So what I want is I want to copy from here and I want to paste into some location. So what is the location? Let's see that the, the source file that is E slash demo dot txt that's demo dot txt here. I want the destination that is E folder one inside that I want to paste it. So that E under that folder one in this E drive, I don't have any folder one. So what I'll do is if I do not have that folder, I will create a folder inside that folder. I can paste that file itself, right? So that is what I'll do. So destination would be E folder one inside that I'll paste demo.txt. So let us see the code now. Now, for example, I've uh, created, I've uh, defined a variable that is dim FSO file system object. Instead of FSO, you can type any text. You can type any variable name and you can use it. Second thing is I'm creating an instance of this file system object set FSO equal to create object scripting dot file system object. That's a method you have to use. Next is source file destination file. I've given the path of those files. First one is the name of the location of the file. Second is the path of the file. Now I'll check first whether the folder exists or not, which folder this destination folder. If folder one doesn't exist, I'll create a folder. But how do I check? I have to check using a condition that is if condition. So if FSO dot folder exist if it exists at this location if it is exists if it is false then if it is not there then you have to create this folder so fso dot create folder at that location that the destination right that is end if and if it is already there it will not go inside it will directly come outside here right so if it is not there it is created after that what it will do is fso dot copy file from source to destination so fso dot copy file source file is this one e slash demo dot txt the destination is given here under under the e folder e drive i have the folder one under that the demo file will be created and true true means it will keep on overwriting even if the file is already existing in that destination it will still overwrite it so therefore i've given as true set fso equal to nothing that means release all the resources taken by this object instance right so let us see now i'll just click on this run button and i'll click on run Okay, it has been passed. I'll show you the folder what exactly happened. Okay, so I'll just show you here now. Yeah, so the file was copied from here that is demo and it has been pasted into which folder that is folder one. Earlier there was no folder one. It created inside that folder one. If you open there, there's a demo.txt. So it has copied from one location and it has pasted to the other location, right? So I hope you're able to understand how do we copy paste files from one location to another location using file system object. That's all for this video.